Hi everybody and welcome back to Built Not Bought Campers on quite a sunny day now. It was actually pouring with rain earlier. So today, as you can see, we're sat in the back of a very, very empty van. And by the time we finish here with it, there's going to be a little bit more in here than there is at the moment. We're not doing a full build. So I'll go through some of the jobs we've got to do on this. We've got to fit a bed frame and a platform for the bed. That's going to be done out of metal and welded together. So let me just show you how it's going to be fitted. So we're going to attach the bed frame to this um, point just here, um, which is just below where the window lines are, uh, on the other side that is. Um, we're going to drill some rivet nuts, put them in this. It's going to be a double bed. Um, so either it's going to be attached both sides and then welded parts in the middle and a board straight on top. So it's a pretty simple bed frame um strong sturdy there's gonna be quite a lot of garage space underneath the bed and then the sofa is gonna sit just in front of the bed here and as you can see it's all marked out on the floor um if you just look here that's roughly where the sofa is gonna sit just here she's got a kitchen going there so she's playing this really really well she knows exactly how she wants the van and hopefully we can facilitate and help her get her dream. Right, so what we've got to do is I've made a little mark over this side here, 30 mil in, because the crossbar is going to be welded onto the end. So I need a gap to that crossbar. And she wants it as close to the rear, this corner, as possible. So we're going to go to here. So along this bar, we need to put those Riv nuts in and the fact is we do have some hexagonal holes here and I'm tempted to yes right let me look I'm tempted to pull the insulation out from behind it and use nuts and bolts. The worst one we'll have is along here, getting my finger in here. So <clears throat> could be done, it's just getting a spanner in there. Hmm. What I'm going to try to do first is see what these holes are like for some M8 rib nuts. So there's a thread there already which we can use. They fit perfect in there. So. <clears throat> What I'm going to try and do is put a riv nut in here and see how we get on. Right, this is one here. It'd be difficult to get a spanner down there. So what I'm going to do is put a riv nut in this end and then nut and bolt the rest. was made for it. I'm going to use M8s the whole way through here. Make life easier on ourselves. <clears throat> As the famous old saying says, work smarter, not harder. Right, 
Right, so now we need to mark this for each hole. Now I've taken all the measurements, marked along here, and I'm just gonna mark it across to the square and a sharpie. Right, where we're having these bars positioned in the van, the bolt holes are gonna be offset. So it gives a little bit of height, so the board would just overlap the window ledge. And we're gonna scribe it with one of these today. And scribe all the way along for where each point meets the line that I've crossed. Right, so we've managed to cut the bars, drill the bars, put the rivet nuts in, and we've temporarily installed them. So we can get the measurements between both bars, between this side and this side. So they're just temporarily fixed. So what we're gonna do now is go back inside and cut the bars that run between the two sidebars. Now, the actual width for anybody that's converting one of these vans, and I've measured from this side, because the bar's gonna be welded on this side of it here, to the other side, and the same with that one. Measurement between these two pieces, either side, is 1,866 millimeters. Or 186.6 centimeters. That was it, yeah. <laughs> I had to think about that. But yeah, so that's the measurement between them two pieces. So anybody building one, if that is any useful bit of information, that's the best one I can give you, whether you're building the bed in wood or metal. So there you go. That is the metal frame in place temporarily. Um, the side pieces have been bolted to the van and the center pieces you can see have just been held up by clamps for now. But that's going to be removed it's going to be welded painted and then put back in and they're not having slats on this bed they're going to have sheet apply and we're going to put loads of holes in the sheet apply to allow for ventilation right okay as you can see i've covered these windows up because the last thing we want to do is get a splatter from the welder and destroy the windows so when you're welding or if you decide to try welding glass when you're grinding welding near anything that's glass cover it up otherwise you're gonna have big big problems so the plan is to put a few tacks in each of the corners secure it we're gonna unbolt the frame take the frame out and then we're gonna fully weld the frame clean it up paint it and put it back in Right, now we put some tacks in that. We can get this unbolted, get it out, get it fully welded up, cleaned up, painted, then put back in.
Right, now we've welded it. I need to clean it. And I'm gonna use some thinners for that. Clean all the frame. And then we're gonna spray it. We're gonna spray this satin black. Okay, so I've managed to get this bed frame back into place. All the bolts are in. I've just literally got to tighten them all up. Which means getting over here. I get my socket. What I've done on these bolts is I've put a big penny washer first against the frame, then a split spring washer behind it so it doesn't rattle loose. So there you go, that's the bed frame done. It ain't going anywhere. And if we could take my 10 tonne but it can take anything. Right, so that's another job jobbed. Funnily enough, I've got a diesel heat to fit as well. I've got to put the sofa in, but we've got loads to do. For now, this was the main thing that needs to be done. Right, okay, so we're gonna be carrying on with this bed build for the Citroen Relay. And at the moment, we're drilling holes in the boards that we've cut to create some ventilation for when they put the mattress on it. Let me show you. It was at this point in the video that the audio and the microphone disconnected itself and I lost all audio. So what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that I'm cutting all the holes in the board and following this I will be routering the edges to smooth the edges off so they don't snag on the mattress once it's on the bed.
as you can see now we are installing these boards and I'm literally going to put six screws in it make life easy three along the bars there and three along the bars at the back that will secure them to the metal put the mattress on there it'll be good right the screws that I'm using the Torx headed screws and they're wood to steel screws. So you, they drill them, it's self drilling and self tapping. Strong and good. Okay, that's all we've got time for here at the workshop. So there you go, a bed build is done. Um, the customer seems to be happy, I've sent pictures across. That's how you build a bed, a side-to-side -side bed in a Citroen Relay. Peugeot Boxer, Fiat Ducato, whichever one of them, they're pretty much the same. So yeah. And we've still got more work, so we've got to build a sofa yet. Um, you might see under there, I don't know if you will actually, there's a plate up there. It's gonna have a diesel heater fitted as well. And that's gonna be done this weekend more than likely. But yeah, so that's the bed done. Let me know if you've enjoyed today's video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It doesn't cost a thing to subscribe. And hit the notification bell if you do find value in my videos. Anyway, that's so all we've got time for today. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying really, really well. Most of all, staying happy. Bye for now.